And now to that breaking update in the drive-by killing of that young girl in Silverton. Here she is, nine-year-old Demaya Barton Pickens was shot in the family's home, her grandmother's home. This was late on Monday night. She was rushed to the hospital where sadly she died from a gunshot wound. Now when police got there, the street was littered with shell casings and the house was shot up with bullet after bullet hole, leading them to then believe that this was a drive-by shooting. Well, today the Hamilton County Sheriff formally named the suspects charging two of them with murder. Investigators believe Kasim Dixon and Ryan Brown pulled the trigger and today both were charged with murder. Those two and Demario Williams are in custody. The sheriff says Williams tried to help the murder suspects flee from police and hide evidence. Well, this afternoon, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office fit all the pieces together for us. And so uh, Sheriff Charmaine McGuffey held a news conference just a short time ago, naming these men as the suspects. WLWT News Size Karen Johnson listened in. Karen, a lot coming out today. Get us up to date on what you learned. Yeah, I did, Cherie. Investigators are now saying this was a retaliation shooting. Three men have been arrested, two of whom are charged with murdering nine-year-old Demaya Barton's Perkins. 25-year-old Kasim Dixon was the first to be arrested on an aggravated murder charge. He is now being held on a two and a half million dollar bond. Investigators say he and 27 year old Ryan Brown, who was also arrested, he was arrested this afternoon, drove to Silverton and opened fire on a home on Plainfield Road. Close to 30 rounds were fired. The sheriff says two young girls and a woman were inside at the time. Nine year old Amaya was shot and killed. Prosecutors said the suspects thought a man named Marcus Barton was inside and the shooting was in retaliation over a drug dispute. When you perpetrate events like this, when you shoot randomly, when you bring guns and you like to light up the area, we are going to bring every resource available to the table. We are not going to sleep. We're not going to stop until we apprehend you. A third suspect, Demario Williams, faces weapons and traffic charges. The sheriff says he tried to help the other two cover up the murder. Investigators say they did recover an AK-47 and two handguns. Sheree. So the person, Karen, talked to us a little bit about the person the suspects were targeting was not even in the house at the time of those shootings, correct? No, no not according to the sheriff. And we did confirm, though, the man they were targeting is related to Demaya. But at this point, we just don't know the relation. Karen Johnson reporting live for us. I know this is a case that has stunned so many people and will, of course, stay on top of it for you. You can get the latest updates on air online and on our website, WLWT.com. Again, all of these breaking details are on our website and on our free WLWT mobile app.